Hi, welcome to TFLP Micro. Oh, that fast. I <laughs> I I gave you a warning, Anna. The the show was starting. Yeah, I mean, you, I gave you, you thirty see. seconds. I said I'm going live, and then I said thirty seconds. The song is going. So you didn't you did say, say thirty that seconds. Part. That's the 100%. thing. I said Every other seconds. time we've ever Can't done the show, oh you give God. it as a thirty second warning. Oh my God! Today said, you didn't give us a thirty second. Like that time you basically, because... you basically caused Armageddon. Like yeah. you just changed the script of our entire lives without warning us. Now look at us, unprepared. Because you think you're some sort of yes, script changing the Superman. Seconds, the thirty seconds makes a difference. It does. Anyway, I could have finished transforming Blaster. I I don't no, know no, that no. you would have transformed in thirty seconds for the. Anyway. I'm almost done. I'm, I'm like a second. I'm Lucas. We got Christian. What's up? And we got Anna. Hey. Thing on the ground. Henry's here too. So. Dude, what's up, Henry? Yeah, he, he's managing. Henry. He's the producer for the show, so. Henry never. That makes a lot of sense. Henry never presents or contributes anything to our reviews. He really needs to get <laughs> on it. He's the producer, right? Anyway, so tonight we are do- right. <laughs> yes, there you go. Uh, we are doing blasters. So it's. Uh, I, I feel like that this has been coming for a couple weeks here because I've gotten mine. I've been wanting to do the review, and uh, finally we're here. Because so. you stole it from me. Stole it I down. appreciate that, Anna. So yeah, so Anna found uh, found Blaster, and I was like, "Hey, can I have that?" And sweet talked her into letting me get that copy. And uh, then she had to wait until Pulse. Oh, there you go. Like a week and a half later, it seriously took me less than thirty seconds because I could have finished it if you gave me a thirty seconds. If only. If only. But yes, um, I had to wait like a whole week and a half for mine. Whatever. Stop. It wasn't a big Stop. deal. And it made Lucas super happy. You should have seen his face. It lit up like a Lucas. I was pretty happy because Blaster is one of my favorite characters. So um, I know, Christian, that, uh, you know, what? what's your favorite character? Jazz? No, I thought that um, was a buzz screen. Buzzsaw? Was Buzzsaw. Wasn't it? Maybe not. Got lots of favorite characters. Anyway, the Blaster's, Blaster's my favorite character, so I'm I'm excited to get him. So here we go. So yeah, which mode it. do we want to start off in? This one? Talk about the box. The box mode? Yeah, let's so... talk about the box mode. He's an elegant box mode. It's, yes. it, it's somewhat it does difficult the thing. to get there. He's a blaster. He's a boombox. Yeah. I mean, like, we joke about, you know, it being a box, which it is. I mean, a boombox is a box. You know, it's not exactly, you know, it's not a car or anything complicated. It's just a rectangle. that the boombox has to can change working. the world. They did change the world long ago, and now the world has changed around them. Better know your limits with a boombox. But, you know, he has his working tape deck, so you can press it. I mean, and that's if you're pretty like me, exciting, honestly, for me. The, the, like, you can pop it open and take is... out a smaller blaster. Oh, I like it. <laughs> uh, it's blasters all the way down. It is. It is. And then mm. and that smaller blaster is another smaller blaster. <laughs> My camera's neck seems to have broken this week, so Uh-oh. it keeps losing itself. But anywho, here it is. It's a boombox. It looks like a boombox for those of you who, you know, weren't around when boomboxes were a big thing. This is what they look like. Yeah, I mean, what do you think about the decision? So the speakers in his robot mode are on the sides instead of the front. Like, do you think that that does that work out okay for you guys, or is there what you mean on his legs? On his legs, right? So, like the the speakers on his legs in bot mode that are in front are on the sides in boombox mode. 
Well, he's got fake speakers on the front anyway, so it's fine. Right. Yeah, he's got another set behind the little bars. I don't know. I could see someone complaining. He's got four that. speakers. Well, four if you flip those whatever. the other way, then it's like... Well, yeah, then those turn into the yeah, thingies. Whatever. I guess those are for robot mode, though, right? No, those are for for boombox mode. So, like, boombox mode, oh. you're supposed to flip those the other way. See, I had it backwards. Yeah. I mean, it's your figure. You can display it how you want, but... It's true enough. No, display it how Lucas displays it. All right, fine. I'll flip him back to the stuff I made mode. a smaller box. We've got, we got a tape. So what do you guys think about the translucentness? I, I think I'm okay with it. Like, I don't know. I hope that they release a solid colored one, but it doesn't look horrible. Not the worst thing in the world. It's not great. It's, it's fine. Also- I wish they hadn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think. I mean, bad. you say it's seriously bad. No, that. No, I wish. I wish they hadn't. Ah. Okay. It kind of maybe goes in. It was a. It's a weird decision to make him translucent. Yeah, I get why they did it. At least why I think they did it is because they tried to have the. Translucent accessories on everybody. So Ron was asking if anyone has cracks on their ball sockets. I haven't noticed any. Me neither. They'll happen I'll say though. that, and then I'll probably notice it. But yeah, I uh, you know it's a matter of time. I can't tell if like these are cracks or just flash on his legs. Both. Yeah. But yeah. yeah it, it's a fine little tape. Um, I'll take more of them in opaque plastic, please. Right. Th- this is what I really hope that they just give us a lot more tapes. That's my hope. We've been saying that for years, pal. That's true. Mine They're used just... to fit well until you mentioned something now fits really tightly. I was going to say mine was fine. Yeah. I feel like it's easier to get uh, the tapes out of Blaster's chest than Soundwave's chest. So. Is it? Who's that? I didn't get Soundwave, so I don't know that. I don't remember anything specific about that. Waves? I just, I, I have the Sound Blaster. I have the black one. Oh, okay. Yeah, New it sound has wave. a different tape tour. New it does. So, I think it's interesting that they went for the classic boombox mode on him. But for Soundwave, they went through this trouble of making this weird spaceship mode. And then they didn't do the spaceship. And then they, they didn't do that, right? They, they, the, they revised it. Right. That was but just hard for the So, so one, Hasbro right? has yeah. this new business plan where they just pump out the same stuff year after year. So that's why, Anna. What are the improvements we could have on this one? Oh man, that's a great question. It's I just mean, the this. tape. Yeah, yeah. Reissue now, blaster I, and eject only, changes colors. I mean, not getting to the boom box. Like the boom box, I, I think is is great. I don't know that I would like necessarily change anything about the the boom box. I suppose that you could make one that is a little more animation accurate that doesn't have as much stylization, but. He's a boombox. He looks like a boombox. Yep. C- congrats. Kids don't even these days don't even know what a boombox is. They do not. They do not. So. Which I think is Unless funny. they watch say anything. Randall asks if uh, there's going to be a twin cast this year, and I, I would assume that's coming. This year, probably not. But eventually, eventually, yes. Well, supposedly they're doing shatter glass. So right. So like those make him before twin cast. I don't know. Yeah, Shadow Buster is on the list for that. So, yeah. We'll probably so. see that quicker. Yes, Twincast uh, inevitably will show up. Oops. But yeah, robot mode. Uh, yep, I'm going to transform mine. He's, he's a robot. Oof. It's pretty darn fantastic, I feel like. Um, yeah. Overall, I really love the head sculpt. <laughs> I know, I Anna, that do you not. don't. 
Okay, so because Anna's black heart rubbed off on me and wants an expression for this very jovial character. Right, Blaster's a happy guy. Well, like, unless he's in I the Marvel know. comics, it's in which fine. case he's tortured, the tortured leader. But uh, this is not either of those facial expressions. This is very neutral, which I is the trend expect... that they're doing right now. Right, fine. I was gonna say all of the mainline have neutral faces, so right, so and they do, neutral. and it's consistent, and that's probably okay, right? Like that they're consistent about it. So... I think when you have such spectacular characters like like blaster or jazz or bumblebee it's like important for them to have non-neutral faces because they're like very big personalities yes they're they're big happy affectionate characters they express them expressionate not affectionate so uh catherine was asking to show him off next to um soundwave and uh he is definitely a little bit taller like i think that this is actually about the perfect scale um I like it when they're the same size because that's animation accurate, but in the toys, they're obviously not. So this is an okay comic because he's not so much huger like the toy is, but they're not the same height either. So it's somewhere in the middle and that's probably okay. Yeah. I don't know. I I think it's fine. You know, everyone complains about hollow plastic. Uh, He does not have that. I mean, I guess he's got it for the functionality. I was gonna say oh, yeah. uh, the only the only thing that you can really gripe about is is the inside of these arms um, have it. There's no wrist articulation um, other than I guess that his his wrist moves in uh, in and out a little bit, uh, partially well, due to transformation. But um, these leg parts are chunky, solid yeah. bits of folded panels. He does have hollow hollow right there, but it's hollow black. Who cares? Um, this is like all the panels of the alt mode folded together, and it's great. The hollow arms, though, are for good reason, because they're for the transformation. So, yep. you know, this is one of those times I forgive it, because you actually fold his arms in on themselves in order to transform them. So having the hollow arms is actually functional. So, you know, instead of, I was mentioning to the guys earlier, the um, the TFC one, uh, not TFC, where in the world is my brain? Um, the KFC one transistor has a bunch of kibble on his lower arms. And this one doesn't have that and still achieves the full transformation. And part of that is because of what they did with the arms by making them hollow and making yeah. the legs entirely fold in on themselves. Right. And it works out. It does work out. Uh, remember how he came out in the kingdom line and the kingdom has all those fossilizer dudes. Um, he's got a ton of five millimeter ports on his back to plug all that nonsense. Or weaponizers in. too. Them too. He does. There's ports on his, on his legs. But you know what he can't plug in? Handle. Can't plug in the tape in shield mode or whatever they tried to make the Decepticon tapes be. He doesn't, doesn't have, do a shield mode. The eject doesn't have the, the tab, the half tab that came down for that. So no, but no shield on the box set. I would actually rather have what we got though, because I don't care about, a, I don't know. I don't either. To, to me, Just it doesn't matter. It. And I would rather have, like, I think that this is definitely an advancement. And, and honestly, I'm kind of surprised that we got this included. Like, at the Voyager price point, because this is already, I mean, Voyager sized and whatnot. Just the fact that they threw this in there too, I think, is that's what happens when you get packed with a repack, and when you are a repack in the next wave. There's yeah. more budget for your stuff. Yeah, true. But nevertheless, it's still it's nice to get it. So that's the whereas I kind of feel like this is a bon- The tape is a bonus. Um, so I'm kind of willing to forgive it. Like if they release them later as you know, solid plastic. So I feel like I don't it even is... think it's attached to the mold. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't appear to share plastic with any pieces from blaster. No, the clear. Definitely not. The right. gray. The gray seems different. It seems different. Yeah, but it's you're right. Mold. So. Probably so they can release it in multi-packs or whatever later. But, I mean, I think overall that blaster is painted really well. Like, this chest piece is painted. Yeah. The the face is painted. Um, like, so I, I think that he just looks visually interesting. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'd be curious if I would have gotten this before the end of the year. 
where I would have put him on my list. Because I think that for me, he probably would have definitely been top five. But I'm not sure where he would have been. So He's really good. Like, his articulation is about where I want articulation on these figures. He's got the good leg articulation, the good arm articulation. The wrists are missing, of course. But I'm okay with it because of how he is. He's got the presser finger, which is cool. He can be pressed in some sort you, of. You can move the wrist in. Yeah. Because, you know, it's on that, that kind of hinge. So he can end up looking like he's pressing his own buttons there. The waist yeah. rotates. The head moves. He's got good articulation. He can look like he's pressing the button, but the button doesn't press correctly. Like, the button doesn't press downward. It presses inward. So. Oh, whatever. Yes, but he it's can. It's fine. Like it doesn't matter. He can look like he's doing the thing, which it's not like he could really press it, even if it went the right way, because he's not alive. So. Right. That's true. It, he's not. This is, in <laughs> fact, an inanimate piece of plastic. But I, I know. I realize, like, I'm, you know, giving them praise for just giving us what we actually want. But, like, it, he actually comes with his accurate blaster as well, which is. I, I, again, like I feel like after some of the other stuff that we've gotten from Hasbro, the fact that like he actually like I don't have to buy a separate weapon accessory pack for the actual blaster um, makes me happy. Yeah, he and does. they've been leaving off. Sorry, Anna. Go ahead. They've been leaving off often some of these kind of paint details, like he has on his upper thighs here. So that they're present here is, of course, welcome. But I get some other figures that that kind of detailing is left off. It's nice. That it's I, I still have this theory that there's certain characters that like the whatever the designers, the people that work there, like really love and that they manage to like find a way to make those really good. Like I always felt like that way with Top Spin and Twin Twist at the time mm. and some of the other ones where it's like, OK, you could obviously tell them that this was like their childhood Transformers. That's true. Tops and and, and Those so two are I, just way better. Right. So good. And so this is the same thing I feel like with this character that somehow they, whoever it was that worked on it, really enjoyed it. Or they just happen to have extra money because he's getting repacked a couple times. You know, maybe that's what it is. But Yeah, because I'm not so bothered about... Um about comparing it like everybody says don't compare it to the third party MP type stuff but right. honestly I think it's fair to compare it to Transistor because it does some things more cleverly than that figure does and vice versa of course but you know I think it's actually a pretty impressive little figure it does a good job yeah Man, it continues Transistor the tradition was... for me oh I was gonna say I think Transistor was a good figure uh, it is too, but yep. I mean, I think that this for for a Hasbro retail figure um, is is really good. I think it has some personality and, and whatnot. So I definitely like this better than I think it's the Unique Toys one that, yeah. that came out. Like I like this better than it because it. I wish I still had that, but that figure is a roughly about the same size as as this. Um, so it's like if you if you already had that you may be thinking of not getting this, but like, I, I personally like this better just cause I, I think it just fits in better with the other Hasbro stuff. Oh, and the proportions don't bother me. If you remember when we got the um, magic square blaster way back in the day, I eventually had to get rid of him because his proportions just bugged the hell out of me because his legs were so long and his torso was so tiny. It's that whole heroic proportions thing that Lucas likes to pretend is normal when people do it. And what they did with this blaster is he does have longer legs and a shorter torso, but not to the point where it looks ridiculous, right? And I actually like his proportions. I feel like they did him right without going overboard. So it makes me a lot happier. Yeah, this blaster continues the tradition for me of uh, recent figures being the last version of the, those characters I'm going to buy. This feels like the last blaster I'll get. And I feel like the transformation is is interesting. Like, it's a blaster transformation, but there's, like, just a few different tweaks to it. Like, I actually kind of think it's, like, borderline third party with a few of the things that it does with, like, doing, you know, where you have to get the panels lined up and 
and whatnot too that i could see some people thinking that's frustrating but i thought it was kind of interesting um the way they had it yeah i thought lining up the panels at the very end to go to boombox mode was frustrating it's funny because i did it really fast before the show tonight and the first leg went together great. It was just like, boop, 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 and it slid together. And I was like, well, I guess I just need to work out that friction or whatever. Then the second leg was just a pain in the ass to get it to pop together. It did not want to fit. Yeah. And the littlest bit of friction while I was holding it up to show you guys actually caused it to pop up. So I put it in my lap and stuck it back together um, nice. because it is kind of tense when it's all together, which – is it terrible? It does worry me a little bit. Like, are you putting stress on the joints if you were to leave it displayed in boombox mode? But it's probably not a huge deal. <clears throat> yeah, probably not. It wants to do just a bit of plastic phasing at the very last step. And it's like, it does. Mm, physics don't work that way. So be careful. I feel like it's one of those things where... Like after you do it a couple times, it, it'll you know some of the stuff will loosen up and it'll probably just probably you know just work itself out um, a little bit. But I don't know. I really like it. I'm very happy. I'm I'm happy that you know this came out. Like I know there's been a few other figures. Like like I feel like the Galvatron is just so close for me but not quite there, you know, whereas like this, I am just totally happy with. There's nothing that, um, you know, uh, other than I suppose if you could find a way for the inside arms to not have gaps, but like that's pretty normal um, and it doesn't look too bad. So I hate to say it, but I actually want them to give um, Soundwave another try after this because the the sound wave, even the Netflix one, isn't quite up to this level for me with how good I think it is. And I would like a sound wave to be proportionally as good as him so I can put them together. Because, I mean, like, honestly, if I had a sound wave as good as this, I may not need to own my Masterpiece sound wave anymore because I only really like the cassettes. I could keep them and get rid of the block man. Wow. Christian is thinking really hard about this. I really am. I don't have anything to add right now. I, I that have to sound waves make right. a judgment on those sound waves. I mean, well, just have... got a new sound wave in the form of the little one, in the form of the um, core class. Is that what those are called? Oh, yeah. I, um, I bought, like, none of them. <laughs> one thing I will say about the tape is, since we haven't really covered him yet, um, is, is it definitely a step up from the ones that we got with Soundwave, the uh, Rumble and Frenzy? Um, that, you know, there's a lot more articulation, uh, like the arms have articulation, um, or wait, was it the, I can't remember which one didn't have articulation before. He didn't, right. they didn't have elbows. Yeah. They so had this knees, has elbows. they didn't have elbows. So I feel like this is a definite step up because it has elbows, which I appreciate. Um, so I would like them to, uh, figure out a way to get them re-released. Um, you know, with actual arm articulation. Yeah, that selects multi pack we got with knock and scar. Um, make a just make a ton of those, just a lot. Make like fifteen of those and give me all the tapes, <laughs> and I'll be happy. The head sculpt, I think, uh, on on him looks better too than um, than the older ones. So he's frustratingly yeah. better because yeah. he is just. Like, I expected to get him and be like, oh, this is a little bit better, but I still wish these were just, you know, a little more complex. But instead, I get him and I'm like, oh, I'm happy with this. I wish I had a Rumble and Frenzy that I was happy with right? at this size. And I definitely don't because I those mean, two are the only... they're like novelties. I, d I don't know that Hasbro, at the price point they do, that you could have ankle articulation in a figure this size. I think it would just be hard for them to do that. Um, that would be the only thing I would say, you know, on the new tapes that, yeah. that I would want. But like, I mean, again, this is what, um, you know, this is what I want. So, he, I mean, he doesn't have waist swivel and he doesn't have ankle articulation. But again, he's pretty small and Hasbro just doesn't, 
you know, I know there's legends, third party figures that like do it, but those are also a lot more expensive than this. Like this is a pack in, so yeah. It's like Ron yeah, said, if we really want like ankle articulation on these things, they're going to start charging us $10 a piece for these instead of I'd the 10 for two pack. Yeah, I would I'd pay oh, I, de- I definitely would too. I'd pay $10. I think that the tough thing is if they charge $20, then I would. Piece, I, I, would I, I couldn't do $10 a piece for this. I would want more than that. No, but I'm saying if we're getting more. Yeah. I mean, if they were higher quality, I would do that. Right. If they did something like, like I could definitely deal with it. If they did something like releasing one of the more complex guys and then one of the more simple guys together. So like, you know, mm-hmm. releasing like, you know, like they did with like release rumble and laser beak together, make laser beak very simple and give rumble a little more and write it up to like $15 or something. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, but we're tapes. probably dreaming at this point. Like right, they're probably gonna not going to touch the old ones because they didn't change the scale. You know, this is the same scale, no. same compatibility as the Soundwave cassettes. So I don't think they're going to start over. Also, of all the leaks that we've seen and all the leaks that we've covered, no tapes are on those lists. No tapes. I thought. Oh no, maybe that was the other studio series. Um, um, there's a studio Ravage. series Rumble. Oh yeah, what what's the Rumble? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's a rumble. He's a cool yeah, person. Ron that says that the, the Bumblebee Ravage is at core price now, but I think that that's, it is. A, that's a bigger figure, though, too. So, yeah. Yeah, there is supposed to be a Studio Series 86 yeah. rumble, so I, I don't... We don't know what that is yet, so... We'll, I wonder what that'll be. Yeah. I don't know. Well, what if they did at a at a core class price point some classic accessories and then either Rumble or Frenzy? That sure. might be okay. Sign me up. That's fine. But yeah, there's not a noteworthy live action Rumble anywhere, so presumably it's the 86 one. Yeah, because this guy didn't come with his guns and he doesn't have a way to hold them. No. That could be an accessory. You, okay, we'll keep you an could, eye on that. You could awkwardly tab a gun into the, side the tab his on arm. his arm. Yeah. Which I think is how it. they did it for the G1 figure, right? I feel like those had handholds, but I did they? Mine are downstairs. I don't think that the handholds uh, held the guns, if I remember. Did they not? Did they go on the side? They went on the side. So. Well, if they did that with these, that would be fine. Yeah, it'll work. Because I just think, like, if they wanted to make a Studio Series 86 of the cassettes, they would need to have their little guns because they, they brought out their little guns. And pew, pew. Yes, and no eject because he's miscolored his uh, rewind. Yeah. It's just two, a two pack of rewind. <laughs> two rewinds. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, go by Blaster. Don't be crazy about it, though. You know, if you can't find him right now for Kingdom, he's re-releasing Wave 1 of Legacy, so there will be plenty yeah. of Blaster. So don't you just worry. have to get both of them because they're package variants, right? No, you don't because you're not a crazy person. No, because we've seen pictures of the Legacy one, and our little friend is still translucent. People were exactly worried that it would same. be like, here comes Legacy, and then you get a non-translucent, or here comes nice. Legacy, and you get a translucent rewind. But the answer is it's still just clear. Oh, Christian, that face. I hadn't heard that last one. How stressed you would be. <laughs> I just buy it. But yeah, no, I hadn't heard that last theory. That seems p- preposterous. That smoky gray rewind they put with it. <laughs> yeah, this is the same. Yep, it's the so same. If you can't find him, don't flip out. He's coming out again. Yep. You can't find it then. 
then flip out but like yeah. that's several months from now i i do i do appreciate them doing that they did the same thing with um astrotrain as well and so like it's just it's nice because in that way you don't have to worry like that you don't have that last of the line syndrome kind of kind of thing but it yeah. seems like that um outside of the blaster I, I i feel like a lot of the deluxes and whatnot have been pretty freely available um, hitting them and whatnot, like at online retailers. So, online, yes. Yeah, online, uh, not in retail near me, at least. Well, yeah, like it's January. Like they never restock. Like they're clearing some crap out right now. Except True. I found a blaster at retail. Well, right. I mean, like. And everything it's else. Not, it's not 100%, but yeah, like. Yeah. So, anyway. But yeah. No, he's good. I like him. I don't really have complaints. Like I usually have complaints about retail figures, but you know. I figured out the repaint. You ready? Not not Shadow Glass and not Twin Cast. They're gonna close the repaint. They're gonna do Marvel Comics colors finally. So he's gonna be more orange. He's gonna have a yellow face. He's gonna come in a two pack so I can finally get my purple sound weights that I've wanted all these years. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, that is quite the stretch. Yes, it I is. Like it though. Oh, they'll do two. They'll do Blaster and they'll re-release Scrounge from the Computron pack back in the day. And then they'll do Soundwave and a bunch of something. I haven't come up with that one yet. Two two packs. And they'll have the comic we'll covers end... on them. I wonder if we'll actually end up only getting Rewind. I would try. <sighs> but then Dr. Wu would make them and then it'd be fine. Because we could get... They could do like a two pack of rewind and something out of the ravage mold, I guess. Like, well, no, they're not going to make a new mold. This is my dream is that they don't uh, make a new mold. So they make like stripes nice or something. Or stripes. I would totally take a Billie Eilish blaster edition. Sure. Sign me up. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I mean, I know who I that don't... is, but I don't know what that means. But sure. Yeah. Uh... That'd be fine. Is it because Blaster is also called Billy? I love it. I, I don't know. Sure. That may have been an accident or it may have been on purpose, but either way, it's art. I love it. Who said it? Oh, Catherine. It was Catherine. Oh, then it was definitely on purpose. Thank you, Catherine. So. I do like it. I do like it a lot. So would it be the blue one then? All I know is he'd be a bad guy. Because he's not Billy. Thank you, Lucas. Anna didn't get it. <laughs> I got it. I, I don't know, Anna, do you are you a Billy Eilish fan? I'm not. Do you celebrate her entire collection? I do not. <laughs> I I do not listen to the modern music. Okay, so the the bad guy thing was an incredibly brilliant pun. Yes, it, it was because that's one of her songs, so Oh. I mean, was it even a pun or just like a, a light reference? Yes. You know what? I realize I'm going in a bad direction here, but it's trying to define pun more carefully. Yeah. And I don't think yeah, you need to do that. Lot. So book club this week is going to be Revolution Action Man and Revolution no. World of Meets the Eye. That's fine. So uh, uh, check that out Sunday night on the TF Talk <laughs> Discord at 930 Eastern, 830 Central. Guys, I implore you, don't read action. <laughs> if you want to no, hear me there's no reason to if you want to hear me universally dislike comics come listen to me talk about revolution i really don't like it <sighs> yeah yeah Probably the story's awful it, <laughs> i know we will oh, not finish yeah. before idw does oh wow yeah phil asks if they'll finish before idw oof I mean, you've got a yes. Uh, well, no, but uh, the question is, is how far you're going? Because if you go into the new continuity, then there's no way. But we've talked about new continuity. Who knows what'll really happen? <laughs> yeah, Kat- Catherine says there's no way they're going to add new members or whatever with hits like Action Man. <laughs> it's like I agree. <clears throat> anyway. Well, uh, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat. Thanks to Ron. Thanks to Catherine. Thanks to Randall. Thanks to 
Phil coming in late. But still appreciate it. I guess. But, uh, but yeah, thanks guys. And we will see you next week. Oh, I can hear you. Bye. Oh yeah. Bye. <laughs>